Good morning and welcome to Red Hand Systems webinar series. Today we'll be featuring Jem Tamizbi. Joining me in the room today is Tony Wynn, our developer, and Christopher Peter, our engineer. My name is Minaj Williams. I'm the GIS analyst here at Red Hand Systems. Uh, today I'll be giving you a brief description of the product and then we will view a pre-recorded tutorial which anyone can view on YouTube. I will have the link later for you in the webinar. After the tutorial, we will do a live demonstration and then open it up for questions. So without further ado, for those of you who don't know, Gem to Misby is a desktop application that converts geospatially enabled media, otherwise known as Gem, to Misby compliant full motion video format. Once converted, the videos are viewable in ArcMap for Desktop 10X, as well as part government's viewing applications. The application is useful for anyone who has captured video with a lightweight commercial off-the-shelf camera and GPS receiver. Also, anyone who has captured GEM videos using an Android tablet or phone running Red Heavy Systems Media Mapper Mobile. The application is also useful for anyone who has used other Red Hand System software such as Isware or GeoVideo to decode videos. This is what the interface looks like. It's very simple to use. There are basically only two buttons, three including the help button. But what we would do here is navigate to your media. Um, and then once you find your media, you just click Add Files. You will see that in your media list. You can add as many as you want. You can also, if you didn't want to convert all of them at once, you can uncheck the videos that you would like to. And then just click Convert. And you will see in this program output text box whether your video has successfully converted. Gem to Misby converts the gem video or video XML sidecar pair to produce an output that is a KLV encoded MPEG-2 transport stream conforming to Misby standards, which is the Motion Industry Standards Board. We refer to this output as Misby compliant full motion video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the overview tutorial. Thank you for joining and watching this Red Hand Systems demonstration and overview of Gen Gems MISBI is a post-processing video tool that can convert your Red Hand Systems geospatially encoded video's metadata into a key length value format. This KLD type metadata is then embedded into an output video that can be played by the ArcMap plugin Full Motion Video. The interface is quite simple and intuitive. Selecting the Add Files button will open a dialog for you to import your geotagged videos. After selecting your videos and clicking Open, your files will now be imported. Any videos that do not have companion XML files and involve the use of a VMS unit will have their audio decoded to produce these files. 
after you have imported the video files you want to convert for use in full motion video, select the Convert button. Jensen Isby will now begin processing the video files. A summary of Jensen Isby's progress for each file will be on the right side of the main window. Jensen has completed converting the videos. Let's view our Geotag Media and Full Motion video. To access the Jensen ISB manual, select the button in the top right of the main form. Then select the Jensen ISB user guide link. The default web browser will now open to the Red Hen Systems Manuals page. The PDF the user guide will be available for download under the category of software. These XML files contain the necessary information that relates video time codes and GPS coordinates. After you have imported the video files you want to convert for use in full motion video, select the Convert button. Jensen SB will now begin processing the video files. A summary of Jensen SB's progress for each file will be on the right side of the main window. Jensen SB has completed converting the videos. Let's view our Geotag Media and Full Motion video.
now jim tominski is designed to be used with videos that are compliant with the motion imagery standards board not every video is msd compliant if your video is not processed by jim tominski properly or at all your video may not be msd compliant it could also be corrupt or there may exist a large time gap in the track log data of your video, or your video may not be geotyped to begin with. If your video is not MISB compliant, it may need to be transcoded before being processed by Jim's MISB. Free FFmpeg video converter tool can transcode your video so that they can be processed by Jensen SV and then be played in full motion video. The download link is available in the video's description below. The FFmpeg video converter tool can resolve issues involving the cursor and the FMV video player not being synchronized. Videos in FMV that appear to be skipping frames can be reprocessed with a tool to have a lower frame rate. Just type the following into the optional arguments text box to have your transcoded video play back at 30 frames per second. Videos in FMV that have artifacts from the main player can have the resolutions adjusted in the FFM Tank Video Converter tool to correct for this problem. I will use the suggested example in the tooltips prompt. And this concludes our Red Hen Systems overview of Jim Tomisby. Again, thank you for watching and choosing Red Hen Systems. So just a reminder, we'll have some time at the end for questions. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you what it's like to do a conversion of Gem to MISB. I'm going to start up Gem to MISB. So here's the interface. I'm going to navigate to my media. So here's my original video. I know. I'm going to do the original and just show them. So So once my video is in my media list, I can see that there's a checkbox. I can uncheck it if I want and add more media, and then I can go ahead and convert. Um, this process, depending on the size of your video, could take a while. So I'm just going. We've already uh, transcoded and converted this video, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what that's like in ArcMap.
here's our converted video with the KLV extension. Um, this video was shot at 60 frames per second. Um, some videos uh, don't work that well in FMV at that frame rate. Um, we can also use uh, uh, FFmpeg if you want to change the frame rate of your video. So this was at 60 frames per second. I can show you a video that we process through FFmpeg that we change to 30 frames per second. Sometimes the the video with the 60 frames per second has some artifacts and when we lower it the frame rate we do have a little bit less of a less quality of video but it does seem to uh, run smoothly with less artifacts. We used a Sony action cam to shoot these, this video. Uh, yeah, this is Christopher Peter. Uh, the model of the camera was a Sony FDR X1000. And uh, the UAV that's used is a DJI Phantom 1. Uh, it was just shot at a local park, but uh, it's a very cost-effective solution, uh, even just uh, for getting an aerial shot, um, probably total cost was maybe 800, uh, 500 for the camera, and then 300 for the UAV. Um, but as you can see, this uh, uh, software can uh, take in other formats and uh, have it be viewable in ArcMap uh, full motion video. <laughs> We have other videos besides the strong footage. Um, we just thought it was cool so you can see what it's like. Um, This video was also converted um, through Gem to Misby. Um, this is a drive. It might give you a little bit of a cleaner look at, at a track. And the camera used for this one was the GoPro Hero 3. Color is kind of hard to see. I'm going to change that.
So you can see that syncs up pretty well. So we'd like to open it up for questions. Now, uh, yeah, just to reiterate, this uh, software doesn't really care so much if you're using a VMS unit or a media geotagger to uh, create the georeferenced uh, video. Uh, Jim Sinisby is basically just looking for a companion XML, which uh, was described earlier in the video tutorial. Um, but basically, uh, as long as the video is MISB compliant, Jim to MISB will be able to work with that video. Um, and you use FFmpeg if if the video is not MISB compliant. Correct. Now, if uh, yeah, also, if you are creating content with uh, Media Mapper Mobile, uh, that video that's georeferenced can also be processed through Gems and SV. So if you have an uh, Android uh, Nexus device, uh, you can uh, take that video, process it, and uh, be able to view uh, a ground patrol, for example, in full motion video then. Oh, this is Tony, by the way, the developer. Um, working on a future implementation of Gem to MSV. Um, the newest one will be able to show you your field of view from the camera onto the map. So you can see what exactly you're looking at from your track. Um, that's one of the features. Another feature I'm currently adding on is asking, uh, making it so that Gem to MSV can be called from a command um, console, so you can run it multiple times and just batch script it more easier that way. So having it having a UI, you would just create a script and just run uh, all your videos through it, and it would be a lot quicker than just dealing with the UI that way. So those are the two things I'm currently working on. It should be out. Uh, the new version should be out sometime and within a month or two. Okay. Well, we have about six minutes left for uh, this webinar, uh, but if you have any questions, um, go ahead and send them. But uh, we also have an email if a question comes to mind. Um, is it info? Yeah. It's just info at redhensystems.com. Um, you can also call us on our main line, which I think we'll show at the end of the uh, PowerPoint slide. You can just go to that. Yes, our phone number is 970-493-3952. Now this camera has a built-in GPS. It's fairly limited in the information that's logged. Uh, it's basically just latitude, longitude. It doesn't uh, have a heading. But uh, we do have software that can actually convert that track log into the Red Hen standard XML file. So then it can work with Gem to MSB or ISWARE directly. So there's less processing time.
And then uh, from what I understand, I believe a Phantom 3 and higher can produce a uh, SRT file, which is kind of an equivalent of a track lock. It's a subtitle file. Uh, we can also convert that as well. Did you want Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tony and Chris, for helping out. And I'll see you next time.